Four Lies. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Body Bags. I'm Mikey Fish Horror, and I'm your Friday host. Yeah, dude. So, I uh, hope everyone had a good Christmas, and uh, or whatever they celebrate, Hanukkah, Boxing Day, whatever. It doesn't matter. Hope you had a good one. And uh, yeah, dudes, that brings us to our theme week, which is actually going to be like a winter snow theme. Uh, I think everyone's titling it like winter theme. So uh, I think this has been done before here, but a long time ago. So I'm going to do it, whatever. Uh, and that is wrong turn four. Yeah, dudes, I was going to do another one, but I remember I did. I mean, I thought about it and I don't really remember much of it. And uh, I just got off of work and I'm trying to get this out because I got to go somewhere. So yeah, I just picked out one that I know. Anyways, whatever. So Wrong Turn 4 is basically a prequel to all the three that came before it. And there's actually two more made after this. And uh, the reason I'm picking this one is not only because it's the snow theme, but there's, supposed to, there's talks of a new one coming out. I think it's actually confirmed that a new Wrong Turn is coming out. Uh, but yeah, so it made me want to do Wrong Turn. Kind of want to revisit them again, too. I'm thinking about doing that pretty soon. But anyways, yeah. Part 4, uh, Bloody Beginnings, uh, is about this group of people. They go on this little trip, and uh, they get lost in this, like, blizzard. And so they have to, uh, you know, basically set up camp, uh, set up shop, basically, at this uh, old asylum that they find out in the middle of this blizzard. And it uh, turns out that's where the... Uh, the three characters from all the Wrong Turn films have been staying at as well because they were put in there and they started killing all the doctors and stuff and now it's just them in there. They're basically living there and fucking shit up. Yeah, that's pretty much your story and now these people are kind of, you know, just stuck in this building and they can't really go anywhere because there's a blizzard outside. So now that's how that goes down. Uh, yeah, pretty cool little story there. Uh, it's a, My thoughts on it, it's a fun prequel it really is it's I, I like this movie out of like all of the uh wrong turns is probably like my third favorite i'd say yeah probably my third favorite of all of them it probably goes part two part one then this one more than likely uh i also enjoy uh part i think uh was it five the one that's set on halloween yeah i like part five uh three is trash but it doesn't matter uh anyways so this movie right here uh the best parts about it is the gore there's a lot there's a big uh, body count in it because there's so many people to be killed off in it. Uh, so that was really cool. And it's mostly all females. I realized there's only a couple males in this movie, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty tight. So, but it's a lot of people. And so that means a lot of death scenes, which is a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of just really pretty, pretty girls in this, which is a great thing. Everyone likes that a little bit of girl on girl stuff. Whatever, I'm not a perv, but that shit's tight. But <laughs> yeah, dudes. So uh, definitely, you got your blood and gore that you know from the Wrong Turn films, and then you got a little bit of TNA in there, and that's always tight. Everyone likes that stuff. It's just your essentials when it comes to a nice, fun popcorn flick, which is exactly what this movie is. It's just a popcorn movie. Uh, you throw it on, it's easy to watch, it's super simple to digest. There's nothing really complicated about it. Uh, there is a couple of CGI parts in it that you're like, ah, you didn't have to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. They're not to the point where you're like, dude, come on. Except for one, decapitation's pretty damn bad. But they kind of mix in a little bit of, uh, practical with the CGI. And, uh, there's a few things that they could have done differently. There's actually one part in this movie, uh, I guess I could say a little bit. It's like a guy's getting parts of his body cut off. That is a little, that made me a little squeamish in it because it's just... I don't know, something about people getting, like, skinned and whatnot kind of fucks me up, scares me a little bit. Uh, and that actor, the guy that did that part, he did a really good job on that. I actually, actually, most of the people in this movie did a pretty good job. The acting's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty subpar, but there's some good stuff in it. I really liked uh, the uh, the black girl in it. She did a really good job with her acting, and she was hot. Uh, and then the guy that got skinned did a really good job. Uh, sorry if that's a little bit of a spoiler, but they just did, I, I, I thought they did a really good job. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a fun movie, easy going, just blood, gore, slasher film. You know, just like any of the other wrong turn films, it's just right there. It's just a good one. Good ending, funny ending. Uh, there's not much to say about it. It has a really good snowy atmosphere, even when you're, like, inside of the building. It just seems a little bit cold. Obviously, they're 
good they did a good job at like you know making it warm where it needed to be warm and then cold in the hallways and whatnot it felt it felt a little cold and whatnot when you're walking around i really like that i wish they would have done it a little bit more there's a scene where he's they're kind of like walking through the hallways and stuff and uh, i wish they would have played on you know it's still being cold because yeah they had it warm in the little spot where they made a fire but that wouldn't really you know make its way through the entire building obviously but that being said i can't remember i might be wrong here they may have found electricity i was thinking about it i can't remember either way uh good film Great snowy atmosphere. If it's the winter and you're just wanting to be cold and watch a cold movie, this one definitely does the trick. Uh, it's just a really good one. Check out Wrong Turn 4 if you haven't already. If I had to rate this one, it's been a minute since I've seen it. That's why I'm kind of just babbling about shit. But uh, if I had to rate it, I'm, I, I'm sure that I'd probably, for myself, it's probably about a, you know, a 7 out of 10. I just really enjoy these movies. Uh, the entire series, even though the third one's bad, I'll still watch it because it's just, it's got a little charm to it. I don't know, just a wrong turn is a cool little, it's a cool franchise, man. I think that uh, they need to keep making them. I know that they are, but they need to keep on going and just keep keep on numbering them. I heard that the new one's not going to be numbered. So they went all the way to six, and then I heard the seventh one, it's either going to be like a reboot or a remake. I don't know. I get kind of confused on those, but yeah, uh, hopefully they'll try and number it that would be tight but i doubt they are uh but that would have been sick but yeah dudes anyways wrong turn four a lot of fun definitely check it out if you haven't already check out the whole franchise it's a lot of fun anyways guys yeah dudes i'm mikey fish horror and i'll see you guys next friday later dudes